Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful image borders using Divi's new options. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how. Okay, so in order for you to achieve these designs in this tutorial, all you're going to need is an image. So the size that I used is 1000 by 600 pixels, but you can use any size you want. And also, if you'd like to follow the colors that we're using in today's tutorial, you can visit our blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so let's start by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on page. And we can call this page, you know, whatever we want. So I'm um, just call this border. Okay, click on use the DV builder, use visual builder. So next we're going to add our column structure. I'm going to click this plus button here and we are going to choose this column structure at the bottom here. Okay, so now that we have this in place, I'm going to come over here and click this plus button to add our image module. So I'm just going to search for it like that, click on it. And now we have all our settings here on the left. So let's start by adding a brand new image. So I'm going to click upload. And the image we're going to use for this is this right one, this one here. The image size we're going to use for this tutorial are 1000 by 668. But these borders can work on any type of image. So it just depends on what you have for your design. Okay, so I'm going to click on upload an image. Next, we're going to click on background. Click the gradient and we're going to add our first color. So I'm just going to paste my color in here and we need to add the second color. Again, I'm going to paste it. Make sure that your gradient type is linear and our gradient direction is 269. And then here for our start position, 40 and position 60. Next, go to the design tab click on spacing and right here at the bottom let's add 10 pixels all around so we need 10 pixels top right bottom and left because this is what shows the border so pretty much this is all you have to do and uh, just go ahead now and save okay so for our next image let's uh, add a new row so i'm just going to duplicate this and then just change the image so we're going to come over here and uh, delete this image and add a brand new one. So I'm gonna add my image module, click upload to upload our image. And this is the next image I'm gonna use. Upload an image, click on background, linear gradient, click the plus button. And here we are going to add an RGBA value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go inside here and paste my value. Now, if you'd like to use the exact uh, colors that we use, you can go to our post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Okay, now it's time to click our second color. I'm going to paste it like that. Our gradient type is fine as linear. Gradient direction, 166, and then 29 and 52. Okay, so these are the settings that we need. Now, in order for this uh, design to show, we need to add some padding. So let's go on to the design tab. So we're going to click on spacing, and then we're going to add 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels to the left. And that's our final result. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So I'm just going to save this for now. Again, I'm going to duplicate this and add our new image. Click on upload to upload our image. And this is the next image we're going to use. Upload an image. Click on background. So we're going to come over here to the gradient tab. Click the plus button. So our first color here, in fact, both colors this time are all going to be RGBA values. So I'm just going to highlight it here and paste my first color. Click on the second color. And again, as before, I'm just going to paste my values inside. Okay, so the gradient direction is 152. And then for the start and finish, it's 34 and 28. Now, you can see that uh, this start and end position is what's really bringing the shapes that we need. And over here on the top, to get these gradients, all we have to do is to play around with these uh, colors. So you can choose colors that match with your brand just by adding it in the first one here and the second one. So these are really the areas that you need to uh, play around with to achieve your desired look. Okay, so now that we have all this information in place, let's come over here to design. 
click on spacing and this time we are going to add 20 pixels all around. So now you can see we have this triangle shape right there in the top left. Okay, so we're done with this design. Let's go ahead and save and let's move on to the next one. So I'm, again, I'm going to duplicate this and add our image. So I'm going to add my image module, upload my image, select my image and upload an image. Okay, so next let's come over here to our background, click our gradient. Next, let's add our gradient colors. Click on the first color. I'm going to paste my gradient color in here. Add my second color like that. So this time on our gradient direction, 180 is fine. Our start position is 65 and end position is 78. Now let's go into our design tab. This time we're going to go to the border. Click on border and select use border. Our border color, let's add our color here. Border width, let's make this three pixels. And solid is fine. And then finally, we're gonna add our padding. So we're gonna come here to spacing. And this time we're gonna use seven pixels throughout like that. So this, this time around, we used a combination of borders and also this style that we get from our gradient. So that's all for this design. Let's save and move on to the next one. So I'm going to duplicate this. Again, I'm going to delete, add our image module. Okay, let's add our image. And this is the image we're going to add. Upload an image. Let's go to the background, linear, and let's add our colors. So my first color is going to be an RGBA. I'm going to highlight this and paste my RGBA value. Go to the next color add my second color. This time, instead of using the uh, linear uh, gradient type, we're going to use radio. And we're going to make sure that the radio direction is centered. And then for the start and end position, we're going to make this a both 80%. Let's click the design tab. Now, as we did before, we're going to utilize the border. So click border, use border, select yes. We're going to add our border color. Border width is fine at one pixel and also uh, the border style is fine at solid. So finally, let's add our style, uh, let's add our padding. So we're going to come over here to spacing. We're going to start off with seven pixels here, five on the, on the right, seven on the bottom and five on the left. Okay, so now we have this final style, which really looks cool. Okay, so that's it with this design. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to save for now and duplicate this, add our image. So right now I'm adding the image module. And then we're going to come over here to upload and select our image and then click on upload image. So for this design, we're going to do a double border in combination with a gradient background. So let's add our colors. So I'm going to come over here to background, click on my um, second tab here, which is the linear gradient, add my first color. And my color here is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm just going to select that and paste my color and go on to the next color. Again, we're going to paste our color in here. Next, we're going to adjust our gradient type to radio and it's fine, it's centered. So start position, 71, and end position, let's set that to 93. Okay, now it's time to go into the design tab. Okay, so let's go to border, activate border, and here we're gonna paste our color for the border. So what you could do here is you could match this with your section background color. Okay, let's go over here to the border width. Let's set this to eight pixels. For border style, Let's make it double. And then to finalize the design, we're going to add some padding. So we're going to come here to custom padding and add 10 all round like that. So pretty much this is our color. So you can always go back into the border if you feel that the color is not uh, uh, good enough. So again, you can just come here and change the color like that. So you can make it look the way you want it. Right, so I'm going to save and let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to duplicate as before. 
add our image. Click upload and this is the image we're going to use for this. Upload an image. Next we're going to go to background, linear gradient, add your first color. I want to paste it in the brackets. Click the second color. Our gradient type is going to be radial, centered, and for our start and end position, we're going to set that to 97%, like that. Next, we're going to click the Design tab. Click on Border, Use Border. And I'm going to add my border color here. Border Width, let's set it to 2. And here, we're going to set it as Dashed. And then the final step is to add our padding. So I'm going to come to Spacing, click on Padding Top. So in fact, for all these, we're just going to add 8 pixels. And now we have this desired effect. Save. The next design we're going to do is going to include a pattern and gradient background. Let's start by adding our image. So first of all, we're going to duplicate this and add our image. I'm going to click this plus button to add our image module. Click on Upload. And this is the image we're going to use for this example. Upload an image. We're going to go to background, choose our first color in the gradients. I'm going to paste my gradient color in here, my gradient values, like that. Click on the next color, an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my color in here. So for our gradient type, we're going to leave this at linear, 180 degrees. Start position 0 and end position at 100%. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a pattern background as well. So this uh, background, we got it from this website called toptal.com. So you can go over here and download the, pat the pattern. So I'm going to go into the next tab to add our background image. So I'm going to click this tab here, click the plus button to add our image. And my pattern background is right here. So click on upload an image. So you can see here that we have this pattern now in the background. So on the bottom here for the image settings, make sure that background image size is set to cover, background image position is center, and there's no repeat for the background. Now the most important thing here is to set your, your background image blend to multiply. So this is how you get this blending effect on your pattern. And then finally, for the border to show, we need to add the padding. So let's come here to our Design tab, click on Spacing. And then for the padding, padding top, right, bottom, and left, we're going to set it to 12 pixels. So you can see, as I'm adding my padding here, the background is showing. And then all you have to do is to save these and we can just go through these and just take a look one more time. Okay, so there you have it. So all I have to do now is to publish this page or save it if you've already saved it. And then um, we can see now that these are beautiful borders. So go ahead and get creative with these uh, effects on your images. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like to follow along step by step with the colors that we've used, you can go to our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.